I remember being 17 years old. I was sitting around a careers, the table in my careers room and our year 12 counsellor came around and she, I was at a private school, a girls school, <laughs> and, and we were about to head into sort of year 12 before uni trying to plan what was next. And I knew then, I actually knew then that this was at the heart and soul of what I wanted to do, mm. but I was, I didn't feel like I had the right to say that at that particular time because I was so shy. And so she said to us, girls, I'm going to be asking you all what you're wanting to do in the next couple of years and what courses you'd like to go into university. And university for us in that school was the only option. And I thought, oh, God, what am I going to say? This is just, this is is a moment for me. I I really just want to say I want to have my own TV show. I want to interview people. I want to inspire people. I want to be like Oprah Winfrey. (laughs) (laughs) And I'm thinking in my head, I can't say that. I have not spoken publicly at all in the 12 years that I've been here at this school. I've never... Didn't do debating. Didn't didn't do debating. Never did any of that. So I was like, I can't say that. She'll laugh at me. I've just got to think of something else. She went around and all my friends are saying those standard courses that private school girls are expected to say, law, accounting, economics, HR, IT, and came to me, I was last, and my heart was like thumping in my chest. (laughs) And I'm thinking, I can't say Oprah Winfrey, that's ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) So she said, Maritza, what is it that you want to do going into university? I took a breath and I said... Marketing. And I let myself down mm. so much in that moment and I felt my heart sink. I thought, why did I do that? Why was I so scared to just say that this is the dream that I have and I felt like I'd be judged? And unfortunately for me, what I did <laughs> was actually go into a marketing degree and I completed that at university and did media and marketing and all of that stuff. And, you know, it was a journey for me. It Mm. it wasn't an overnight thing. It was definitely a journey. And that's why I love finding people in this position, because I know that it's possible to go from that fear-based state into a completely different part of yourself Mm. that you never expected to be able to find. Feels like to me that um, you still almost hold on to that feeling of, well, that how you let yourself down. Mm. You still hold on to that mm. and you still – and that dr- almost drives you. Exactly, yeah. That, that fuels you, your desire, your passion now because – and we'll get into the fact that you've now also built your own podcasting network and um, guide your light and encouraging and educating and people, I guess, similar to that 17-year-old girl mm. who – don't have the doesn't they don't have the strength to be able to put their hand up and say I actually do want to find my voice I do want to have power in that and to be able to then bring in their own creativity and and design of how that looks and believe it or not it's it's not seventeen year old girls that I'm dealing with no. it is it is adults mm. like middle aged even <clears throat> having lived their life up until forty or forty plus and mm. still not being able to share what was going on inside them. And I rem- I, I actually, two years ago, two and a half years ago, and in- I engaged a, a business coach to birth Guide Your Light. I didn't know that that's what I wanted to do at the time, but I wanted to bring all of my talents into one umbrella and find a central point, a central business where I could really pursue what I wanted to pursue with this business idea and and what was actually working in my career. And I remember saying to her, I want to help people find and share their voices. And she kept bringing me back to podcasting, which is where the, the tool was, but she was trying to position me as an authority in podcasting because she, she said, this is important. This is where people are going to be able to find you. And I kept saying no and I kept trying to push that away because I was so passionate about really making the angle of the business about finding your voice. And I really, I mean, I did listen to her because she really had valid, valid reasons from a business perspective. Mm. But as the business has evolved... I have now, and it's just happened because I'm spending so much of my time in the space of podcasting, have established myself as an authority in podcasting, Mm. and I don't hate it. I actually don't hate it. And I find that that passion 
play that I wanted to help people and brands now mm. find their voice and share their their values even is still the core of what I'm doing. But there's that business element that was so important that I was probably lacking that the coach helped me solidify into yeah. one piece. Well, I mean-